Okay. Let's see if this works. Only one way to find out, right? After all, I've never done this before. Hello! <laughs> I have never streamed before. Can you believe it? This is my first time. Brand new world. And I thought, hey, let's try ultra graphics. I was going to try conquest, but decided I'd rather just do regular graphics. But I do wonder how the stream quality is. In case you guys will find out how I play survival Minecraft. <laughs> and you'll find out how I'm not the most epic person there ever was. But ha! Ah, we still have fun. Oh, good. The stream quality looks good. It's one thing playing Minecraft by yourself. It's another thing when people are watching. Somehow I feel <laughs> a little more nervous. You know, if I've been streaming like for years, I probably wouldn't care, but first time streaming? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Gonna have to get used to these new textures. My mind's still with regular vanilla Minecraft. Just need three stone. that stone pickaxe as quick as we can. Gosh, that's a lot of coal. Nice little find to start with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Suddenly people are watching me. I'm one of those people that can't stand to have someone watch them while they're working. to work alone. <laughs> yeah. Gotta decide how low I'm going. I usually like to start underground and then build my house later. Another question is, how's the music? Oftentimes the music is too loud. I'm wondering how it is now, if it's too loud or if it's quiet. Ah, this seems like a good enough spot. I think I heard a rumor somewhere, I'm not sure. I think I was told that if you're a new channel and you're starting monetization, that watch time from streaming doesn't count. Like if they're watching after it's done streaming, it's just a regular video, then it counts. But during streaming, I think the watch time does not count towards monetization. I think that's what I heard. I 
missed that. I need to make a pick or an axe. This is one unelegant entryway. Cool looking stuff comes later. This is just so I can survive. There's that. Ah! Maybe next time, if it's just one stream, I'll just try without the high graphics. Let's see what that is dark. my establishment is secure. I will survive the night. However, I will get hungry. I need to find some iron. Holding that way for a little basic base, but this way will just become the rest of the mine shaft. quite low actually. Well, you never know. And I do have things on pretty high. Let's see what that does. See, from my point of view, it's running really fast. It's not jittery at all. And what was my F frame rate? Yeah, so my frame rate is actually pretty high. So I'm not experiencing any choppiness. So, if it's hard, struggling from your side, I might need to change the bit rate. See what that will do. So the reason I'm using this texture pack, it's called, how do you say it, Patrix, Patrix, <laughs> I pronounce that, um, of the ray tracing, you know, uh, texture packs out there, the ultra realistic. It's the one that's the most complete that I know of, that I've ever found. And I'm running only the 64 resolution version. And yeah, I did have to become a patron supporter. That's okay. But, um, for some reason, when I do a little bit higher than that, uh, Minecraft crashes. I know that's only characteristic of mine, so I gotta figure out why. But for some reason, when I do 128 resolution or higher, my Minecraft game just crashes. Like, it won't even load up. So I gotta figure that out too. But for now, I'll just use the 64 resolution. And it runs really smoothly, at least, you know, from my point of view. Oh, I might want to be putting some torches here and there. Let's see, when am I at? 60. I'm going to go all the way down to 8. 
problem is since it's a new texture pack that I'm not used to quite yet, I don't know what iron looks like. Oh, that's dirty. I know what coal looks like. That's interesting. Let's look, it's different. What is that? Is that andesite? Yep, that must be andesite. <laughs> andesite looks almost the exact same, it seems. Oh, I bet that's iron. Let's find out. Yep, there's iron. I still gotta get used to the new mechanics of getting raw iron instead of just regular iron. Gosh, only two. There must be some more iron here. Oh yeah, there it is. You ever come across just two iron? Keep looking, there's probably more. Another thing too, I'm actually recording with a headset. When I record my tutorials, I use a Blue Yeti microphone. It's a much better quality. And the thing is, I actually it actually does a better job of blocking out the exterior sound from my computer, the Blue Yeti. So, my next stream, I might actually try without the headset and use a Blue Yeti. Whoop. So that, oh my goodness, what happened there? Oh, <laughs> that was weird. Got stuck in zoom mode. I'm going to try the blue Yeti next. Just to see if the audio goes, quality goes up significantly. This texture pack should work on any PC, but it is very demanding. So if you have a low-grade computer, might not work so well. Of course, the biggest thing is if you use shaders. Shaders are the biggest thing. So let's see, what, what am I at? 40. Really? I'm only at 44? I've got a long ways to go. And this music that I'm listening to right now is actually from Scott Buckley. It's Roy to Free. And I have them all separated into the different categories, and this one's the ambience ones, of course. Scott Buckley is the best royalty-free music you can use in your videos. I don't think you can get any better. My PC, I have an NVIDIA 2080 Ti, and my processor, what was it, uh, AMD 3090X, or is that what's called? 3090, 3090X? It's a pretty good, darn good processor. Mineshaft. I think I'll actually just curve here and see what happens. I'm too lazy to block off an abandoned mineshaft. See, when I mine down, I always mine four blocks up. It's the perfect height for putting stairs, but also not hitting your head when you sprint down them. It's funny. I actually, <clears throat> I actually don't really play Minecraft. <laughs> well, uh, I don't really play Minecraft anymore. I used to play a lot more. It's just that once I started doing YouTube and started making videos, let me tell you, if you enjoy Minecraft, you'll enjoy making videos twice as much. Especially if you do machinimas, where you can actually use the system to do, make stories, and you can actually do it for free. Um, use. OBS, Open Broadcast Software, it's free, go download it, that is what you use to screen record, and then there's plenty of free vi video editors out there you can use, including, if you use Windows 10, the Windows editor, that uh, Movie Maker that comes with it. 
And it's up to you to become proficient, of course, of what the video editor that you choose. I started using Windows Movie Maker, I think it's the first one I ever used. But then I switched to Sony Vegas when I had enough money. This must be the new block. Deep Slate, right? I think Petrix has actually finished a lot of the new textures 1.17.1, so you might have Deep Slate by now. So I actually probably gotta go double check, and if he does, I gotta get the new texture pack. Yep, back to the old textures, the Deep Slate. Deep Slate Iron. And regular iron. Not bad, not bad. Oh, and redstone. About time I make an iron pickaxe, isn't it? Is that what redstone does? <laughs> Must be part of Patrix. Look at that. I didn't know it did that. That's really cool looking. Well. Let's first start by making a ton of stairs. I'll get my stone cutter made eventually, too. Oops. Time for the stairs. have to place torches since nothing could spawn on stairs. Oops, too many. I should cut out one block. Well, I'll just always remember that there's an abandoned mine shaft right there. That's not hard to remember. Oops. Look at that, exactly enough. <laughs> of course I still have... No, I don't. I had. A... I made exactly the right amount of cobblestone stairs to get up here. I promise I, I didn't do that on purpose. Completely by accident. Okay, let's make our furnace. Just guessing how this works. Uh, let's just put our coal in there. I, I haven't really spent a lot of time studying the new system. Iron ingot. Hey, it's bright. I need to go make a bed as soon as possible. You know me, I like my sleep. I didn't need to use the crafting table either. Okay, there's got to be some sheep nearby. But it must be morning, is my guess. I sure hope so. Oh, a pretty sunrise, isn't it? Stand by the way, zoom in on it. That was pretty cool looking. Aha! I knew there were some sheep nearby. Just need a little bit to get started. Aha! Oh, uh, I don't have enough wood. Chop down another tree. I'm starting with acacia, but I do not enjoy farming acacia trees. Um, they're not as easy. Yeah. I like birch and spruce. They're the good ones. I have a bed. I can sleep at night. In the underground. Well, I've got a choice to make. What house do I make? I often make like an, an awesome concrete mansion. Of course, that takes a while. But my favorite house to live in is actually a hobbit hole. I wonder if I should do a hobbit hole.
the hills for. There's two ways to build a hobbit hole. You either dig straight to the mountain, or you find a flat place, and this is what they do in real life. You just build it, the interior in the open, and then you cover it with dirt. And that is actually the faster, easier way to do it, too. So I'm wondering if I should do that kind of hobbit hole. Because that is not hard at all. To just build it in the open and then cover it with dirt. I feel like I was about to do something else. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have a chest yet. stuff on me now. I'll keep the wood, though. Keep the dirt. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. You, of course, are just gonna be... Oh, sure. Right there. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep you. Of course, I'm always using my pickaxe. Oh, wait. I got iron. Now I need a bucket. An iron pickaxe. Probably get an iron axe as well. And then shovel, I'll just start out with that. I'll save the iron ingot for later if I need it for something else more important. And then we'll need a hoe. the nearest water source. The view distance down, I think I tricked myself into thinking I was near water. <laughs> oh, well there's some right there. Just remember where I'm at. Ouch. I, mean, I shouldn't be hurting myself when I don't have any food yet. I should have made two buckets to make the trip shorter. I guess if I needed to I could hunt or yeah, hunt my sheep. But I don't want to. Sheep are too wonderful. Hello, choppy turtle. Welcome to the stream. I think one of my greatest efficiencies is my inability to pronunciate things in a correct way sometimes. <laughs> Golly. So some of your names I might not be able to say very well. Huh. That's interesting. Just looking for more seeds. I'm going to just go ahead and start the farm. Let's put it right here. Need more water. And if I were smart, I wouldn't be sprinting and hopping right now and starving myself more. Well. Is that actually a desert biome? I wasn't paying attention. It is. It's a desert biome. To me, that's very valuable. You know, I could even just do a sand castle as my starter home. Go put it over there. Everyone kind of has their own survival style. I'm the kind of person where I don't like to build things close together and have a little spot. I like to really spread out and like... So my property will probably be like beyond that hill all the way over into the desert and like 100, 200, 300 blocks that way and come all the way around and just be like huge. And I'll groom it and it'll be nice. That's that's the style. Like I like to have big properties. Really big. So this resource pack, like it's called Patrix and the only way to get it is through Patreon and you have to become a Patreon supporter. And you can get it on the lowest tier which is only $1 a month. And if you need to, you can just become a supporter, pay $1, get the packs, and then, you know, no longer become a supporter, and you only spent $1 to get it. Which really is quite decent. But just look up Patrix. P-A-T-R-I-X. Oops, wrong spot. And the 
shader, I actually had to do the same thing. I had to become a patron of Seuss. And that one, so I'm still a patron of Patrix, but I'm not a patron right now of, of Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. Maybe I will to see what, what else he's doing. Um, but that's how I got this one, and I don't remember how much that one was. I haven't looked in a while. That's kind of cool looking. I still have some getting used to it. The problem with this grass, see the grass you can pick and the grass that just... See, there's a part of the grass that sticks out that's part of the regular texture. I have a hard time telling what one I picked and which one I haven't. For so, you know, for if you're just doing it for looks, you know, it's great, wonderful. If you're playing survival, though, functionality-wise, it's kind of hard to tell. a farmer. Good comment about DaVinci Resolve. So that's a that's a good helpful comment for anyone else in case they're looking for a free video editor. I've looked at a lot of free video editors, and I think I looked at that once a long time ago. I should look into it again. Because I haven't done a tutorial on making machinimas in a long time. I need to do one. And I like doing it with free software because, I mean, not everyone can just go and drop a couple hundred dollars to get Sony Vegas. Of course, neither could I. <laughs> I had to wait till I had the money. And I'm still poor. going about this like as if it's super important to finish this farm. I don't have to, but I want to. Gosh. The music and that sunset. Seriously, did you get any better than that? getting dark. The spooks come out at night. I need to be able to switch to like dark music. When I... Sweet dreams. <sighs> Rise and shine. It is a beautiful day. After the stream is over, a little quality, the audio quality, and um, I'll be able to check the video quality. But as I understand, once you're done streaming, the way the video looks after you're done streaming is always the way it looked when you were streaming. Maybe same resolution, but you don't always necessarily see the same choppiness. I'm not 100% sure about that because I've never streamed before. But I guess that's something I'll figure out over time. 
Yeah, I actually don't much like Acacia either. I actually never build with it. I, I, <laughs> I never use Acacia. My favorite wood is Spruce. Um, my other favorite wood is Birch. As far as looks. They're also the easiest to farm, which makes them even more nice. Now, in a texture pack like this, my favorite tree is actually Jungle. They look really cool with these texture packs. So, I wonder if I'm going to post any jungles. I have cheats disabled, so I can't just type in stuff in luck to figure that out. Come on, grow wheat! I'm just like sitting here watching myself starve as it grows. Oh, oh. Of course, anytime I need to, I can just go hunting. I guess I could, you know, just get some food. Um, let's go get a, a redstone. I need a compass so I can come back easy. Oh, did I make my iron pickaxe yet? Are you iron? Stone? Iron? Axe? Didn't I make an iron pickaxe? There it is, yeah. And again, I'm being foolish sprinting down these stairs when I'm starving. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I only had one iron ingot, right? So I actually need more iron. I and mean, I didn't see any more iron. Hmm, hmm. What level am I? 13. Let's go down to 8 and then mine some more and see if I come up with some iron. I need more iron. Well, at least my wheat will grow while I'm looking. <laughs> 